Baking Blind with Penny Melville Brown. Frittata for lunch. Okay, I'm going to make a quick frittata for lunch because I, around here I have to feed the cameraman. And so I've got some um, smoked bacon just gently cooking in a frying pan. Martin, you've moved my knives again. Now they're in the same place. I've lost me then. <laughs> Okay, I would have put some onion in, but I haven't got any in the fridge at the moment. So I'm going to put some mushrooms in. And what frittata is great for is using up old potatoes. And so it could be old roast potatoes that you just chop into sort of bite sized pieces, or it could be um, just plain boiled potatoes, new potatoes, whatever you like. But we are going to use those things that you get at the end of a wicked evening. We've got some yesterday's chips. Martin went off and bought us fish and chips last night. We didn't eat anything like all the chips. So I'm going to pop them in here. Right, how's that doing? That's doing okay. There go the mushrooms in. I'm going to turn that heat up a bit more. One of the things when you don't see is you do get asbestos fingers so that you can turn things over and you can see I'm using my hands again it happens all the time right let's let those mushrooms cook off I'm just going to cut them in half Did I say that the um, bacon I'm using comes from my Greenfield pork people who sell their pork, it's locally reared pork, home cured, all the rest of it, properly smoked, not painted with that smoke flavour. And so I tend to buy most of my pork there, it's really excellent stuff. They've won awards for it and one wouldn't want to have anything less than award winning pork. Would one? No. In your frittata. I get um, all sorts of great cuts, especially the um, with a really good pork belly. But there's masses here. That um, I cook very slowly in either the oven or the sous vide. The hang method once more. This is a frittata for two. I think that will do us fine. In this bowl I've got some pepper, I haven't added any salt because there will be some in the bacon and I've also got some torn up leaves of lemon thyme. Here go three eggs. I'm going to use this little whisker is really handy for just beating up small amounts of liquid egg and everything because I'm not trying to beat it to death. Put that down there. Cameraman couldn't get out of the way quick enough there. <laughs> right there we are. Let me find that. I'm going to whack this in the oven, turn off 
that's that gas. Put it in there. Probably what, five, ten minutes? Let's say ten. What sort of gas mark? That, you, good question. Probably mm, five. Okay. Ten minutes, so I can just knock together a bit of salad. So these are rather limp chives. We've had a big frost here today. It was minus four in there. Just not at their very, very peak. What else is in that bowl? At the moment, just some tomato. This is um, locally grown I've got the name of the lettuce. Um, what are those little lettuces? Gems. Little gem lettuces, absolutely right. Um, and they come from Kevin, who's my butcher come green grocer, come grocer, who delivers all my food around to me. I mean, so this is just a bit of real salad garnish to go on the side. And you know how you get to the end of the fridge and think, what can I do with these last remnants? And I'm afraid this is what you're getting. Right. It gives you a bit of your five a day. Here I have my special little oil bottle. This is, came back from Umbria when I did my cooking holiday this year. And this has got their home-grown olive oil. I found a lemon. What I then lost is my knife. So, just going to squeeze some lemon over that. Give it the hand method toss. I'm going to leave you to add your own seasoning to it, okay? Let's see how this frittata is doing. How's that looking? Probably more than well done. Yeah, that looks good. This is the interesting bit. Blind person getting hot things out of hot pan. Just trying to ease it loose all around the edge. And non non blind people keep well back. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, we could try turning it out. Let's go mad, shall we? This could be one for the sort of outtakes bit. Well, something moved. Hmm. Heard something go. Well, it might be pre-cut frittata. <laughs> <laughs> Martin, is that the worst of it out? Yes, that's not bad. There's a little bit left in there. But, okay, um, who's I'm going to let you cut that in half, slap it on the two plates, and then we'll put some salad on and have lunch. Lovely. Good job. Done? Yes. You can download this and all the other recipes from my blog at www.disabilitydynamics.co.uk.